Question 1. Ignominious, reprehensible, a audacious, pusillanimous. b surly, considerate. c reverent, derisive. d peerless, superior. The correct answer is d. Ignominious means humiliating, shameful, and reprehensible, so look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. Choice, a, is incorrect. Audacious means daring and bold, while pusillanimous means spineless and weak. Choice, b, is also incorrect because it contains antonyms. Surly means gruff and impolite, not considerate. Choice, c, is incorrect because reverent means respectful, not derisive, rude, or disrespectful. In choice, d, peerless means without equal, or superior, so that is the correct choice. Question 2. Magnate, mogon, a luminary, nonentity. b physician, osteopath. c progeny, ancestor. d epicure, bon vivant. The correct answer is d. A magnate is a person of great influence, particularly in an area of business. Mogul is synonymous with magnate. Therefore, look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. In choice, a, a luminary is an achiever or a star, not a non-entity, or a nobody. In choice, b, a physician may be an osteopath, or someone who believes in treating disorders with various manipulative techniques in addition to conventional therapies. However, these two words do not have the same relationship as magnate and mogul. In choice, C, a progeny is an offspring, not an ancestor. In choice, D, an epicure, also known as a bon vivant is someone who is fond of luxurious things. Question 3. Enthrall, mesmerize, A relinquish, retain. B stipulate, specify. C stagnate, revolutionize. D congeal, liquefy. The correct answer is B. To enthrall means to charm, captivate, or mesmerize. Therefore, look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. In choice, A, to relinquish means to give up, not to retain or keep. Choice, C, is incorrect because the pair is antonyms. Stagnate means to be idle or stand still, not to revolutionize. Choice, D, is incorrect because to congeal means to thicken or set, not to liquefy. The only choice that contains synonyms is choice, B, to stipulate means to specify or instruct. Question 4. Zenith, summit, A apex, nadir. B yen, yang. C arboreal, tree. D vale, gorge. The correct answer is D. Zenith and summit are both words that refer to the highest point of something, like a mountaintop. Therefore, look for the pair of words that are synonyms. Apex also means the highest point, but nadir means the lowest point, so eliminate that choice. Yen and yang is a Chinese term that refers to dualities, such as light and dark, that coexist. Since these are antonyms, eliminate choice C. Vale and gorge both refer to low points, such as a valley, so choice D is the most appropriate choice. Question 5. Scholar, erudite, a philanderer, scrupulous. B. Reprobate, depraved. C. Termagant, peaceful. D. Virtuoso, whimsical. The correct answer is B. A scholar is erudite, or well-educated and intellectual. Therefore, look for an answer choice in which the second word describes the first. Choice, A, is incorrect because a philanderer, or womanizer, is far from scrupulous, or honest. Choice, C, is incorrect because a termagant is a shrewish woman, and therefore, not peaceful. Choice, D, is incorrect because a virtuoso is someone with specialized knowledge in a field, particularly music. A virtuoso would be serious, then, and not whimsical, or fanciful. In choice, B, a reprobate is a person who is depraved, or a good for nothing. Question 6. Poser. Impress. A. Malcontent. Appeasement. B. Extrovert. Conceal. C. Ruffian. Ruminate. D. Proselyte. Convert. The correct answer is D. Consider the relationship of the words in the first half of an analogy. A poser changes something about himself to please or impress others. A malcontent complains, and does not change anything about himself to appease others. An extrovert does not attempt to conceal anything, so eliminate choice. B. A ruffian, or bully, does not to ruminate, or think deeply, so eliminate choice. C. A proselyte changes something about himself, typically converting from one opinion or one religion to another. Question 7. Propinquity, aloofness, A. Ascetic, self indulgent. B. Compunction, regret. C. Equanimity, composure. D. Exuberance, enthusiasm. The correct answer is A. Propinquity means closeness or nearness, the opposite of aloofness, which suggests detachment. In choice, b, having compunction means having second thoughts, or regret. To have equanimity means to have composure and level-headedness. 
since those are synonyms, eliminate choice, c, in choice, d, exuberance means full of enthusiasm and energy, so eliminate choice, c, choice, a, is the only pair that contains antonyms. Ascetic means austere, abstinent, or severe, which is the direct opposite of self-indulgent, so choice, a, is correct. Question 8. Superfluous, obligatory, a precarious, unsteady. b recalcitrant, rebellious. c sublime, lofty. d pragmatic, idealistic. The correct answer is d. Superfluous means extra or excessive, beyond what is required, while obligatory means essential or mandatory. So, look for the answer pair that contains antonyms. Choice, A, contains synonyms. Precarious means unsteady or shaky, so eliminate that choice. Choice, B, also contains synonyms. One who is recalcitrant is rebellious or resistant. Sublime means lofty or magnificent, so eliminate that synonym set. The only choice that contains antonyms is choice, D. Pragmatic means sensible and realistic, not idealistic and impractical. Question 9. Ebullient, jovial, a unassuming, arrogant. b languid, leisurely. c abashed, brazen. d puerile, mature. The correct answer is b. Ebullient and jovial both mean cheerful and bright, so look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. Choice, a, is incorrect because someone who is unassuming is modest and humble, not arrogant. Choice, c, is incorrect because abashed means embarrassed or ashamed, not brazen or shameless. Choice, d, is incorrect because puerile means childish, and therefore not mature. Choice, b, is the answer pair that contains synonyms, as languid means relaxed and leisurely. Question 10. Duplicity, treachery, a pejorative, depreciatory. b repulsion, allure. c surfeit, deficit. d terrestrial, otherworldly. The correct answer is a. Duplicity and treachery are synonyms that mean deceitful or fraudulent. So, look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. In choice, b, repulsion means disgust, while something that has a lure is appealing or desirable. Choice, c, is incorrect because surfeit means excess or oversupply, not a deficit or lack of something. Choice, d, is incorrect because terrestrial means earthly or global, not otherworldly. Choice, a, is the only answer pair that contains synonyms. Pejorative means the same a depreciatory, that is, critical or uncomplimentary. Question 11. Sufficient, copious, a frugal, thrifty. b lethargic, sluggish. c bad, egregious. d profound, insightful. The correct answer is c. In the first half of the analogy, consider the degrees to which these terms refer. A sufficient amount fulfills a need without excess, but a copious amount means bountiful and plentiful. In choice, a, Frugal and thrift are synonyms, and mean that a person is economical. There is not a significant difference in degree between these words. This is also the case for choices, b, and, d. In choice, b, lethargic and sluggish are synonyms, with no difference in degree. In choice, d, profound and insightful are synonyms that do not differ in degree. In choice, c, a significant difference exists between bad and egregious. A mistake, for example, might be bad but an egregious mistake is extraordinarily awful, perhaps unforgivable. Question 12. Seraphic, angel, a sacerdotal, priest. b despot, oppressor. c unimaginative, visionary. d cynical, zealot. The correct answer is a. Something that is seraphic has to do with angels, and is seraphim-like. In choice, b, a despot and an oppressor are the same thing, the first word is not descriptive of the second, so eliminate that choice. In choice, c, a visionary is someone who is inventive, not unimaginative, so eliminate that choice. In choice, d, a zealot is a fervent believer, not a cynic. The only answer choice in which the first term is descriptive of the second term is choice, a, sacerdotal describes something that is priestly. Question 13. Encumbrance, impediment, a prelude, culmination. b malapropism, verbiage. c ministration, neglect. d schematic, diagram. The correct answer is d. An encumbrance and an impediment are the same things, burdens or hindrances. So, look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. In choice, a, a prelude is an introduction, often to a literary work or musical piece, and a culmination is the ending. Since these are antonyms, eliminate this choice. In choice, b, a malapropism is a ridiculous misuse of the word, and verbiage has to do with the choice of words. These words do not have the same relationship as encumbrance and impediment. In choice, C, 
Ministration means care or assistance, not neglect, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D, a schematic is a graphic or a diagram, so that is the correct choice. Question 14. Excoriate, commend, A, traduce, slander. B, spurn, rebuff. C, query, repost. D, vituperate, revile. The correct answer is C. To excoriate means to berate or criticize someone, which is the opposite of commending them. Therefore, look for the answer choice that contains antonyms. Choice, A, is incorrect because the two words are synonyms. Traduce and slander both mean to speak about someone in a malicious and false way. Choice, B, is incorrect because to spurn someone means to rebuff them, or to reject or look down on them. Choice, D, is incorrect because vituperate means to revile or address someone with harsh language. Choice, C, is correct because to query is a question, while a repost is a reply or a retort. Question 15. Fetid, squalid, A. Disingenuous, forthright. B. Feckless, dynamic. C. Heinous, atrocious. D. Impudent, respectful. The correct answer is C. In the first part of the analogy, the word fetid means rotten, putrid, or squalid. So, look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. In choice, A. Disingenuous means insincere or devious, not forthright. In choice, B. Feckless means ineffective or incompetent, not dynamic. In choice, D. Impudent means rude and impolite, not respectful. In choice, C. Heinous is a synonym for atrocious, so that is the correct choice. Question 16. Ferret, rummage, A. Abate, augment. B. Burgeon, dwindle. C. Wend, proceed. D. Curtail, expand. The correct answer is C. In the initial part of the analogy, to ferret and to rummage both indicate searching or hunting for something. So, look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. Choice, A, is incorrect because to abate means to lessen or subside, and to augment means to increase, so eliminate that choice. Choice, B, is incorrect because to burgeon means to prosper or flourish, not to dwindle or lessen. Choice, D, is incorrect because to curtail means to cut back or decrease, not expand. Choice, C, contains the synonym pair. To when means to proceed or to go. Question 17. Facetious, earnest, a sanguine, uncertain. B. Supercilious, condescending. C. Urbane, debonair. D. Salubrious, healthy. The correct answer is A. Someone who is being facetious is humorous or teasing, and someone who is earnest is serious. These are antonyms, so look for the answer pair that contains antonyms. Choice, B contains synonyms, supercilious means condescending and arrogant. In choice, C, urbane means suave and sophisticated, the same as debonair, so eliminate that choice. The words in choice, D, are synonyms, salubrious means healthy and wholesome. The only choice that contains antonyms is choice, A, someone who is sanguine is confident and optimistic, not uncertain. Question 18. Eccentricity, idiosyncrasy, A fate, convention. B euphemism, expression. C. Precursor, successor. D. Resurgence, repercussion. The correct answer is B. In the first half of the analogy, the words eccentricity and idiosyncrasy are synonyms that mean a quirk or a bad habit. So, look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. In choice, A. A fate is a celebration or festival, not a convention. In choice, C. A precursor is a forerunner or originator, not a successor, or one that comes after. In choice, D. A resurgence is a recovery or revival, and a repercussion is a hostile response. Those words are not related, so eliminate that choice. Question 19. Crimson, vermilion, A. Ivory, auburn. B. Emerald, ecru. C. Cerulean, azure. D. Magenta, indigo. The correct answer is C. In the first pair, crimson and vermilion are both shades of red. So, look for the pair in which both words denote shades of the same color. In choice, A. Ivory is a shade of off-white, and auburn is a cross between orange and brown, so eliminate that choice. In choice, B, emerald is a shade of green, and ecru is an off-white slash beige color, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D, magenta is a cross between purple and red, and indigo is a shade of dark blue. The only choice in which both words denote shades of the same color is choice, C, cerulean and azure are both shades of blue. Question 20. Dirge, lugubrious, A burden, onerous. B. Journey, perilous. C. Relapse, predictable. D. Gemstone, lackluster. The correct answer is A. A dirge is a mournful song that is played at a funeral. Dirges, then, by definition, 
are lugubrious, or excessively sad in melancholy. A journey is, most times, not perilous, or dangerous, so eliminate choice, b, likewise, in choice, c, a relapse is not always predictable, so eliminate that choice. In choice, d, most gemstones are polished to a shine, and are not lackluster or dull. In choice, a, a burden is, by definition, onerous, arduous and difficult. Therefore, choice, a, is correct. Question 21. Appetite, voracious, a action, unconscionable. B indecision, vacillate. C laugh, snicker. D protege, talented. The correct answer is A. When considering the first part of the analogy, think about how these words are related. If someone's appetite is voracious, it is enormous and ravenous. So, choose the answer pair that is words related to the same degree. Question 22. Exorbitant, reasonable, astringent, rigorous. B querulous, argumentative. C preternatural, miraculous. D. Multifarious, homogeneous. The correct answer is D. Something that is exorbitant is unreasonably costly, so the two words in the first half of the analogy are antonyms. Choice, A, is incorrect, because stringent and rigorous are synonyms that mean strict and inflexible. Choice, B, is incorrect because someone who is querulous is argumentative. Choice, C, is incorrect because the words preternatural and miraculous are synonyms that mean supernatural. In choice, D, Multifarious means varied or assorted, and homogeneous means uniform and consistent. These words are antonyms, so choice, D, is correct. Question 23. Exigency, crisis, A solace, aggravation. B restitution, recompense. C longevity, transitory. D kitsch, refinement. The correct answer is B. An exigency is a crisis or a predicament, so these two words are synonyms. Look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. In choice, A, solace means comfort, not aggravation, so eliminate that choice. Choice, C, is incorrect because longevity means a long length of time, and transitory means short-lived, which are opposites. Choice, D, is incorrect because kitsch means tastelessness or brashness, which is the opposite of refinement. In choice, B, restitution and recompense both mean money that is paid to someone, usually as compensation for something that was lost or damaged. These words are synonyms, so choice, B, is correct. Question 24. Extricate, disentangle, A. Obfuscate, clarify. B. Inundate, overwhelm. C. Remonstrate, acquiesce. D. Sanction, prohibit. The correct answer is B. In the initial word pair of the analogy, extricate means to free or to extract, as does disentangle. So, look for the synonym pair in the other answer choices. Choice, A is incorrect because obfuscate means to confuse or complicate, not clarify, or make clear. Choice, C, is incorrect because to remonstrate means to argue or dispute, and to acquiesce means to agree or consent. In choice, D, to sanction means to allow or authorize, not to prohibit. Choice, B, is the only answer pair that contains synonyms. To inundate means to flood or overwhelm, so choice, B, is correct. Question 25. Carnivore, Lion, a herbivore, tiger. B piscivore, penguin. C granivore, reptile. D omnivore, beetle. The correct answer is B. A lion is a carnivore, which means it is a meat eater. Therefore, the relationship between the two words is categorical. Lions are a type of carnivore. Eliminate choice, A, because tigers are not herbivores, or plant eaters. Eliminate choice, C, because granivores are grain eating animals, and reptiles do not eat grains. Eliminate choice, D, because an omnivore eats everything, plants and meat. Choice, B, is correct, because penguins are piscivores, or fish eating. Question 26. Zephyr, Gale, A sanctity, holiness. B stupor, days. C sanctuary, refuge. D smattering, plethora. The correct answer is D. In the initial pair of the analogy, compare the degrees of the words. A zephyr is a light, gentle breeze, and a gale is a very strong wind. So, look for a pair in which the degree of difference is significant. In choice, A, sanctity is a synonym for holiness, so eliminate that choice. In choice, B, someone in a stupor is maybe said to be in a daze. Those words do not have a significant degree of difference. In choice, C, sanctuary is the same as refuge, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D, a smattering refers to a tiny bit, while a plethora indicates an abundance. This is the only answer choice in which the words show a significant difference in degree. 
Question 27. Paradigm, archetype, A auxiliary, support. B cloture, enclosure. C combustion, decorum. D decree, abdication. The correct answer is A. In the first half of the analogy, paradigm and archetype are synonyms meaning an example that serves as a model. In choice, B, cloture is the process of ending debate by voting, which is unrelated to an enclosure. In choice, C, combustion means ignition or burning, while decorum means properness. These words are unrelated, so eliminate choice, C. In choice, D, a decree is an order given by an authority, while abdication means to give up. These words are not closely related, so eliminate that choice. In choice, A, something that is auxiliary is a support or a backup. Choice, A, is the only choice with synonyms, so it is the correct choice. Question 28. Palpable, intangible, A a carpus, fertile. B ambrosial, conciliatory. C cordial, sincere. D covert, disguised. The correct answer is A. In the first half of the analogy, something that is palpable is able to be felt, or obvious, and something that is intangible is not concrete or vague. These are antonyms, so look for the answer pair that contains antonyms. In choice, B, ambrosial means pleasing to taste, while conciliatory means peacemaking or appeasing. These words are not closely related, so eliminate that choice. In choice, C, someone who is cordial is pleasant, friendly, and sincere. These are not antonyms, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D, something that is covert is secret or disguised, so eliminate that choice. In choice, A, something that is a carpus is sterile, or does not produce fruit. This is the opposite of fertile, so choice, A, is correct. Question 29. Ostensible, inconspicuous, A assiduous, sedulous. B cherry, cautious. C cognizant, unaware. D austere, unadorned. The correct answer is C. Ostensible means apparent or perceived, not inconspicuous, or unnoticeable. So, look for the answer pair that contains antonyms. In choice, A, Assiduous means diligent and hardworking, as does sedulous. These are synonyms, so eliminate choice, A. In choice, B. Cherry means cautious or wary, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D. Austere means serious or somber. Something that is austere is definitely not adorned with anything, so eliminate that choice. In choice, C. To be cognizant is to be aware or mindful, not unaware. Question 30. Penchant, proclivity, A. Aversion, complacence. B. Asperity, conceit. C. Connotation, suggestion. D. Derision, compliment. The correct answer is C. In the first half of the analogy, both penchant and proclivity mean a strong inclination or tendency. Therefore, look for the answer pair that contains synonyms. In choice, A. An aversion is a dislike or hatred of something, and complacence means tending to comply or obey. These are unrelated, so eliminate that choice. In choice, B. Asperity means rough, harsh, or ill-tempered, and conceit means an overly high opinion of oneself. These are not related, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D, derision means ridicule, and is the opposite of a compliment, so eliminate that choice. Choice, C, is the only option with synonyms. A connotation is a suggestion or implication, so that is the correct choice. Question 31. Pedantic, doctrinaire, A frugal, extravagant. B discreet, distinct. C imperturbable, excitable. D. Meretricious, praiseworthy. The correct answer is B. In the first half of the analogy, pedantic and doctrinaire both mean to closely follow one's teaching. They are synonymous, so look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. In choice, A. Frugal means economical or thrifty, the opposite of extravagant, so eliminate that choice. In choice, C. Imperturbable means calm, and not capable of being excited, so eliminate that choice. In choice, D. Meretricious means alluring, but in a vulgar or flashy way, based on pretense or insincerity. Therefore, something that is meretricious is not praiseworthy, so eliminate choice, D. In choice, B. Discrete means separate or distinct, so that is the correct answer. Question 32. Nebulous, precise, A. Lurid, gruesome. B. Insouciant, unconcerned. C. Luculent, clear. D. Piquant, bland. The correct answer is D. In the first half of the analogy, Something that is nebulous is vague or ill-defined, not precise. So, look for the answer choice that contains antonyms. In choice, A, something that is lurid is gruesome and shocking, so eliminate that choice. In choice, B, something that is insouciant is carefree and unconcerned. In choice, C, 
something that is luckily and is easily understood and clear. The only choice that contains antonyms is choice, d, something that is piquant is spicy or tangy, not bland or tasteless. Question 33. Nascent, burgeoning, a involute, simple, b lacrimose, tearful, c prosaic, inspiring, d saturnine, optimistic. The correct answer is b. In the first half of the analogy, nascent means budding or burgeoning, new. These are synonyms, so look for the choice that contains synonyms. In choice, A, involute means complex, not simple, so eliminate that choice. In choice, C, prosaic means everyday or dull, the opposite of inspiring. In choice, D, saturnine means gloomy or dark, not optimistic, so eliminate that choice. The only choice that contains synonyms is, B, someone who is lachrymose is tearful, so, B, is correct. Question 34. Mundane, exotic, A. Limpid, transparent, B. Implacable, callous, C. Minatory, menacing, D. Rapacious, munificent. The correct answer is D. In the first half of the analogy, mundane means dull, which is the opposite of exotic. So, look for the answer choice that contains antonyms. In choice, A. Limpid means clear or transparent, so eliminate that choice. In choice, B. Implacable means relentless or callous, so eliminate choice. B. In choice, C. Minatory means threatening, or menacing. The only choice that contains antonyms is, D. Rapacious means greedy, related to money, in particular. Munificent means charitable and giving, so choice, D. Is correct. Question 35. Obviate, preclude, A. Petrify, fossilize. B. Upbraid, flatter. C. Jettison, preserve. D. Negate, reinforce. The correct answer is A. In the first half of the analogy, to obviate means to prevent or preclude. So, look for the answer choice that contains synonyms. In choice, B, to upbraid means to reprimand, not to flatter. In choice, C, to jettison means to discard, not to preserve or keep. In choice, D, to negate means to cancel out or contradict, not to reinforce or support. In choice, A, to petrify or to fossilize means to harden or to solidify.